Good afternoon, Brenda. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Afternoon, Andrea. Thanks for inviting me to the Zoom meeting. Yes, I'd just like to actually invite you here today to just share a little bit of your journey as an entrepreneur. Perhaps to give it a start, maybe you'd like to introduce yourself and what you do. Okay, yes, sure. Okay, I'm Brenda Ang. Um, I'm actually uh, married with a very supportive uh, supportive husband and I have two pre-teens uh, uh, girls. Uh, Actually, I started uh, doing uh, started in education line since uh, more than fifteen years ago. But during that time, uh, I have my kindergarten and also uh, some doing some private tuition. But only uh, six years back, I established my own uh, Singapore Math Academy Enrichment Center in Malaysia. At this moment, uh, we have been in Malaysia for about six years. And I have licensed out uh, to the whole Malaysia. At the moment, we have 10 centers in Malaysia, included one in Miri. Um, besides that, uh, why I started with this uh, Singapore Math Academy enrichment mm -hmm. is because I find uh, this Singapore Math syllabus is where the, the, the way of teaching and, and the concept is actually a very good in a way that for the students to visualize. When in Malaysia syllabus, I find everything is more to like repetitive mm -hmm. and only a uh, formula based. There's no visualization, there's no concept there. Mm -hmm. That's why I started with applying to my kids when they were around six years old, five years old. Mm -hmm. So I see the result from there. The base, the foundation of what they learn until now, one of them are 15 and one of them are 12. They have very good foundation. I don't say that they are excellent in mathematics, but in terms of uh, visualize the questions, they are actually very fast. Uh, they can solve the question easily because of the Singapore math methodology that the way that we, how we teach the students. This is my, this is my passion in, in, in learning the Singapore math and also deliver this knowledge to all the students. That's why I started my own center after that. Mm -mm. Brenda, that's a very nice explanation of your business. You've been very, very humble. You only shared about your business in Malaysia. I yeah. noticed <laughs> that you have beyond that and you have expanded <laughs> beyond that. Maybe you want to share a little bit on that? Yes, actually we started uh, collaborate with one, kin one uh, big kindergarten in Northern China, Changchun, mm -hmm. uh, during uh, 2017, okay. Uh, actually, it started from scratch, uh, the kindergarten, because uh, the owner is from oil and gas company. Mm -hmm. So he closed down the company and he moved his, he diversified his business into kindergarten. Yeah. The kindergarten was very big campus. It's just like uh, one of our international school in Malaysia. As you know that in China, yeah, the kindergarten is not like Malaysia where we actually located in houses or, 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 or shop lots. They actually have their own campus. You know, uh, we started from there and we trained the, the owner and also we trained the teachers mm -hmm. how to deliver Singapore mathematics. Singapore mathematics is one of their core subjects. That's why the kindergarten name is actually, uh, they, they use as Singapore kindergartens in China, Changchun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's a project basis that we, we actually, uh, deal with them for almost a year, settle everything, train them, you know, establish and get all the materials from them, all the tools for them. Uh, when the, then they, once, they, once the teachers is already on board, they start to teach. Then we actually, uh, after a year, then we actually completed the project. Wow. Mm -hmm. That really sounds like a big scale project to you, yeah? Yes, yes. It's actually, uh, that, that, that was our first experience that we, we go, we went overseas to, to start from scratch with them together. It's actually, they also, they told us, they, it's, it's also very new to them because they are in oil and gas company. They have mm -hmm. no experience at all. So mm -hmm. how to run a kindy in terms of even the costing, also we work with them together, you know, for the fees, costing, you know, everything we work from, with them. We, from my side, I also learned something that 
we, we learn a lot because it, it's very different with Malaysia. In China and Malaysia, it's very different. A lot of things that uh, we can do it here, but we can't do it there. Mm. So uh, these are the things that we, we learn from each other, I can say that. Mm-mm. Based on your very long entrepreneurship experience 15 years ago, wow. Mm. What are some of the biggest lessons you've learned being an entrepreneur? Okay, I will say that, I will say that no matter how, we have to work hard. You know, you must have your determination. You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't tell yourself that, oh, it's very difficult. I, have, I never give up. I can say that, never give up. Because once you start with entrepreneurs, you must have passion in the field. You, you, you shouldn't think of like, I, I want to calculate how much I can gain. Only I start this business. Mm. Of course, money is very important to everyone. Mm. But without the passion, you will not find the money. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you with the passion that you can deliver the quality to your customers, then you will see the money coming in. So uh, like I say, passion, determination, you have to work hard and never give up. Mm-mm. Do you have this a favorite big... quote or, or one, one liner kind of quote that you always hold one... on to it no matter what, at tough times or not? <laughs> I always tell, I, I, was, I, I like the, the quote, like, you know, they, they say uh, uh, five Ps, you know, like uh, patient, mm-hmm. uh, persistent, mm-hmm. perseverance, you know, uh, what else? Uh, passion. I remember, let me think of it. I, suddenly I can't remember because when every time I like to, to uh, always tell my friend about this five Ps, what is this five P stands for? You know, suddenly you ask me, I, I, I can't really recall what is the five piece. But what I believe is n- nothing will fall from the skies if you don't work for it. Mm. Uh, uh. But when you work hard, it will pay off one day. But a lot of people, they will find it like, yeah, this is just to uh, tell someone to comfort someone. But it's true because uh, I started when I started my center with zero customer zero students mm. where I built the numbers until now I have 10 center that time I only have one center with zero students mm. you know it was 2015 October mm. now I have 10 centers and I have about 160 students mm. yeah so as long as you work hard you give the best to what people are paying to you uh, then you will get the return in slowly uh, you don't have always totally blow my mind yeah i always think that don't always calculate about money like like some uh because we do license out when the license licensee uh talk to us a new licensee they will try to talk to us mm-hmm. oh brenda I, I i i want to carry your program mm-hmm. but can i know your p l first thing i will ask her do you have passion in teaching what is your qualification why you want to start in, in education line, if you can tell me all this, I can show you my PNL. But if you can't tell me, I will not show you my PNL because what is the point that I show you a PNL that I'm gaining a lot, but at the end of the day, you just think of money. It's not your passion, mm. and it's not the 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 quality. I I mean, this is very important. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yep. So just before we go off, um, mm. do you have a favorite book to recommend to everyone here? Yeah, actually, I, I, I love to read Jack Ma. <laughs> oh, my favorite. My oh, idol. your favorite also, is it? My oh, idol. Oh, your idol. Yeah. So you, you will have a lot of his book also. Yeah, I, I, I love to read his book because, um, because I, I find it like, you know, we are, we are quite similar because he's also from the teaching background. <laughs> he's, a, <laughs> he's a teacher, English teacher. <laughs> so, you know, from there, he, he become an entrepreneur. Of course, uh, uh, you know, the, the background and the way that, that he believes, like the way that he, 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 he does the thing is, it, I, I kind of like agree with what, what he say, you know. Okay, I can show you. Actually, I, I, this book, I My haven't favorite. finished reading. This yes. one, I haven't finished reading. Yeah, I've read another one. That, that's why I always think that never give up. Wow. Uh, never give up. But of course, you have to work hard. 
Uh, Next time we should come and do some book review. We've got we are reading the same things. Yeah, I, I never you know, know because because I notice like some people will think that why you read Jack Ma, you know? Oh, uh, why don't you choose like other more famous one, you know, a more international kind mm-hmm. of things. I don't know. I, I, I find this guy, uh, the way that he, 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 he delivers all his message is very positive. We have to be positive. Mm. Uh, that's why whenever you do anything, of course, confident, positive, you have to do that. Oh, I know. The last 5P is positive. <laughs> okay. Now I remember. <laughs> so we just recap our 5P, yeah? So it's yeah. patient, persistent, perseverance, passion, and positive. Yes, exactly. Mm. Mm. Do you have a one last advice for anybody who wants to take on an entrepreneurship journey or even at these times of do they want to revamp or rebuild their business? What would that advice be for them? Uh, what, what is the advice? I always think that uh, if we have someone that, you know, uh, they are, I mean, the, the people around us, they are very positive. We actually can work with them as a team to inspire each other, mm-hmm. you know, uh, to learn something from each other that you can move on to another uh, step. I can say that. Uh, because we can't always think that uh, we have to work alone. If you always think that we work alone, whatever we think is correct, uh, I think this, this, at this moment, it, it doesn't apply. Because at this moment, we need teamwork. Like me, I always, when during the MCO, we couldn't deliver our physical, I mean, the lesson during our physical class. I, I actually have a discussion with all my teachers, you know, what we can do. So mm-hmm. we have a brainstorming with each other, you know, mm-hmm. we can do online lesson. Mm-hmm. How we actually can improve our online lesson. Mm-hmm. Let's integrate more activity, more programs into our Zoom lesson. Wow. Then uh, we do research. Uh, what other schools, how other schools teachers are delivering uh, the online lesson, mm-hmm. you know, what are the pros and cons. So you mm-hmm. see, uh, when you work as a team, uh, you have more ideas. If you just based on yourself, uh, you have limited resources. Wow. So for this, during this period, I think uh, we should talk to someone that are positive, mm-hmm. but definitely not the negative one that telling you your idea is not going to work, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, so these are my, my, my advice uh, to, to everyone. Uh, share, with, share with someone that they have a positive mindset. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, then we will see the positive result. Mm. Thanks, Brenda. I've actually gained a lot from you. Because one of the most important things that you mentioned is actually that the road on an entrepreneurship is not alone. Yes. Collaborate, work with mm. people, team up in that mm. team as well as community. That will bring yeah. them a lot further. True. Yeah. Actually, uh, I'm 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 very grateful that Andrew, you invite invite take me for this uh, meeting. I learned a lot from you, so to be frank, Thank you. I really learn a lot from you because because uh, if not if if I'm just alone, you know, during the MCO, uh, I just speak to my teachers, I speak to my parents, those students and parents, you know, it's like a limitation. Also, I want to speak to more people like different background different uh lifestyle so you can actually gain different uh uh, way of thinking how to actually improve to be better yeah Yeah. Mm. perhaps next time i'll invite you to do another book review with us (laughs) yes no problem no problem provided i i have to finish this one first i hope i can finish it on time you know before you ask me for the next review (laughs) Sure. And for all the audience out there, if you have any questions, please post your comments and I'll get Brenda to come back on another video and answer your questions. Okay, sure. No problem. Thank you so much for your time, Brenda. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Okay, same to you. Bye.